Hi guys, I am getting ready to go to work. I am whispering. I'm just getting my crock pot ready for today. And we are going to be making um, chicken tacos today for dinner when I get off work. So I'll see you when I get, get off work. Oh, let me show you what I'm doing real quick. I am. I am getting my crock pot ready with my chicken breast in there. I think I'll put too much water. yesterday's fiasco. Alright, so put in the garlic, a few bay leaves, just to give it a nice flavor, and you know how I measure, put on your hand, onions, and salt to taste. Okay, now we got everything seasoned. Let's plug this in. And then we're going to see this chicken when I get off work today. Let me plug this in, guys. Uh, the life of working mom. Uh, all right. There we go. Plug it in. Select. Put it on low. And voila. We are done here. And now we just go to work. Put this away. This will be cooking while I'll be at work. All right, guys, I gotta go to work and I'll see you after we come home. Okay, bye. Hi, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> we went to work, we came home, and now we're getting ready to um, cook dinner. So I kind of got things ready for us already. So what I did was I started shredding the chicken and I said, oh my gosh, I got to do my, my video. So here we are cooking. So let's get started. Follow me. So I already started shredding the chicken. Here, let's move you guys a little bit closer over here so you guys can see. I actually have you on a different tripod this time so you guys can see up down here what I'm doing. Let's move this down. There we go. I'm shredding the chicken and I got my frying pan and I got my skillet here to warm up our tortillas. So I also already start, um, got my lettuce, my cheese, and of course I'm gonna put a tomato in here. So we're gonna make our chicken tacos. All right, let's get started guys. So for now, I have, my chicken's already cooled down, so we're going to um, shred it, and um, we'll assemble these tacos really fast. Let me wash my hands real fast. Okay. And, oh, I'm so tired. It was a long day at work, but we made it through. So I'm going to shred this chicken. Okay, I already got it started, so it's not going to take too long. Okay, guys. And I cooked this chicken when I was at work. I put it in the crock pot. As you can see, what I recorded this morning. Let me see. And we don't want that. Okay. Take any bones out of there, if you have any. These are chicken breast that I put in the crock pot. And then you guys saw me how I seasoned it this morning. All right. 
Fred. Okay. All right, guys. So let's assemble these. All right, so we are going to put oil in my frying pan. God, this monster oil, but I got it at Costco. Let's put that, let that heat up. And then what I'm gonna do to soften up our tortillas, you never, never make your tacos without heating them up first. So that way that tortilla will be nice and soft and it won't crack on you. So, like that. So let's put these in here. And while that is, I took, all right, they're warm enough, see, let's put another set in there. All right, so let's come over here. And now we're going to put our tacos together. So we got these right here. All right. So you get your tortilla. And then you start. Remember, our chicken's already flavored. You put it in there. Put it in there. I don't like skinny tacos either. So I put a good amount. Let's get our door. And then you close them. Like that. And let's take these out. Take. And let's put these in. Your pair of tongs, flip them. See how fast that was, guys? That way, you guys don't have to buy your taco shells, you make them yourself at home. See how fast that was? And then we'll start these, make them nice and crispy and crunchy. I'll be able to put another one in there. You see how fast that was? We made five tacos in no time. And the only thing we had to do was put our chicken in the crock pot this morning. Turn the excess oil. See how fast that was? Ooh, that one scared me. <laughs> I'll put this one 
again. How many tacos can you guys eat? I'm going to save that for the salsa I'm making. We're going to be making red salsa today. These are going to be good, you guys. Now let's continue with our tomato that we were just cutting. My husband's getting shy on coming on camera. But he likes me to make videos because he says he likes to eat the food. Let's flip these. See that, guys? And that's how you do the tacos. Look at all these tacos we just made. These tacos we just made. All right, so let me turn off the stove. We made them fast, right? So we made our chicken this morning while we were at work. And then we came home and we shredded the, the chicken. And the only thing we had to do was just assemble them. And then what I do is I put, oh, hot, 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 hot. I put a little dash of salt on them. Like that. And there you have it. So when they're hot like that, I like to put the cheese on there. Now what we're gonna do, we are gonna put cheese in them while they're hot so the cheese will melt. Put the cheese on them. I feel like eating one. Just like that. These are gonna be good. Cheese. We're almost done, guys. We're almost gonna get ready to eat. I love cruising crock pots because, gosh, it saves us the time, doesn't it? All right. So now we got the cheese on them. And now we're gonna put some lettuce on them. At least I'm gonna just meet uh, the chicken and the cheese because my boy likes to eat them like that. See that, guys? And then you put your tomatoes. You 
see that? They look delicious. You guys want one? And we made them in just a few minutes. Some I don't put uh, tomatoes on because my boy doesn't like tomatoes. And that is how we do it. All right. And then, of course, you can throw some more cheese on top. Can't have enough cheese, that's for sure. So now that we have assembled our tacos, don't they look fabulous? You know you want one. I'll show you. Look. Want a bite? Crispy shell. Let's make a salsa. All right, so you have to have a good salsa to go with these fabulous tacos we just made. So we're going to come over here, and I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay, so come over here. All right, so we got our tacos here, and then right here I have my tomato. my blender so we're gonna need some water okay you're gonna need some chilies garlic salt and pepper so so on the blender we're gonna put onion and we are going to put, well, that should be enough to, uh, tomato, I think. And then we're going to put these uh, Japanese red chilies. This is my go-to chilies to make a fast salsa. You just throw them in there. You don't have to cook them. You just throw them in there. As many as you want. And then you are going to get the garlic, a spoonful. Salt to taste. And some pepper. A couple of pinches there. And then you're going to throw some water in. I think that should be enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe all of it. And then we're going to blend it. Okay. There we have it. Put it in your bowl. And here it is. I 
I want to try it. All right, guys, let's put our plate together. All right, so now that we have our tacos done and our salsa done, we are going to get to eat. We're going to get to eat. So I'm going to get this one. I like to put my salsa in because I don't want to feel like my lips are burning. With this chili, uh, a little bit goes a long ways. And then I got some some guacamole and some sour cream. So I put a little dab. A little sour cream. And then I put a little salt. Look at that. Looks nice, doesn't it? Mmm. Let's give it a try. Ready? It's just good. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more salsa. It does. It does have a kick, but I like mine a little spicy. Take another bite. Wow, well, that's hot. Mmm. Good crunch. Well, I hope you like the recipe. Make them at home. Your family will love them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give a like. And leave a comment below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. I had to get back on here and let you guys know that this salsa is freaking hot, but it's good. Bye.